Hello everyone, this is all about the facts and history of the deer. Deer are believed to have evolved from underless tusk ancestors that resemble modern dukers and diminutive deer in the early Eocene and gradually developed into the first antlered cerboids of cervids and related in the Miocene. There are mysterious and ancient creatures, their ancestors having first appeared in Mongolia during the Miocene and Pliocene geological epochs some 10 to 20 million years ago. From there, they spread to populate most of Asia and Europe, eventually crossing the Alaskan land bridge to North America. Deer often sleep close to the trunks of pine trees to maximize the cover and shelter. They provide dense concentration of pines and trees, and other coniferous trees are particularly popular with deer. Many deer may live in relatively close proximately amongst particular dense forests of coniferous tree. And their characteristic so there are native to all continents except Australia and Antarctica and many species have been widely introduced so there are amazing facts about the deer there are over 60 different species of deer worldwide a male deer is called a back but some larger males are referred to as stags all species of Deer have antlers with the exemption of the Chinese water deer. Each year, antlers fall off the new grow. And then they also have one distinct characteristic that distinguishes them from the rest of the ruminants. In the almost every species of deer, have antlers is still a deer can live up to between 10 to 25 years, varying from one species to another. Deer eat plants, leaves, fruits and nuts, grass and acorns. And deer live predominantly in grassy forest. The habitats they occupy in Australia include rainforest, eucalypt forest, and farmlands. The male deer have antlers and all deer have ears and glands above their eyes which they use to mark territory. This is done by rubbing this area against trees and something. So, um... Deer are very important as herbivores. Deer play a crucial role in the ecosystem, providing food large predators such as grey wolves, cougars, bobcats, and coyotes. They feed primarily in grasses, herbaceous plants, fruits, and legumes and are active throughout the year. Deer are known for their docile and gentle nature. When people hear the word deer, what comes to mind would probably be Bambi from the Disney cartoon. They're often described as graceful, playful, and friendly, 
to some deer are considered troopies or prey during hunting season and during the winter times deer are less active in order to preserve energy as there less food available deer can jump up to 10 feet high and are very good swimmers as deer eyes are on the side of their head they have 310 degrees vision this is much more than humans who have 180 degree vision deer also have a very good night vision which is particularly useful at dawn and dusk when they are most active deer can have a homeland range which can span 30 miles they move about depending on food availability. The majority of deer are human shades of life, the medium brown. White stags are often described in myths and folklore, but they also exist in real life. A white stag occurs when a deer has a condition called leucems, which causes the hair and skin to lose its natural color. When white stags are spotted, it is often not publicized to have prevent approaches finding them as they are viewed as troopies which can sell for thousands of pounds. Deer are the only group of animals in the world to have antlers. Antlers are the fastest growing living tissue in the world. Deer are found in many different ecosystems. They live in wetlands, deciduous forest, grasslands, rainforest, arid scrublands, and mountains. Sometimes, which human civilizations get too close to home, deer will even make themselves comfortable in urban settings. Their habits, deer are very social and travel in groups called herds. The herd is often led by a dominant male, though with some species, the herds are segregated by. Sometimes the females will have their own herd and the males will have a separate herd. In other cases, a female herd is watched over by a herd of males. Some caribou herds can have as many as 100,000 members according to a w most deer are active throughout the day though their most active times are during sunrise and dusk they spend their days foraging for food the deer are herbivores they only eat vegetation food the most part of deer's diet consists of grass small shrubs and leaves Though they will forage in trust beans and in gardens if they cannot find the vegetation they need elsewhere. They have one main stomach and three fallacy stomachs like cows. They chew their cud to fully digest their food. Offspring Though not common, some deer are monogamous, such as the European drew deer. So this is the European roe deer. When a deer breeds depends on where it lives, deer in temperature areas breed during late autumn of early winter. Deer that live in lower latitudes breed from late spring into early summer. Deer that live in tropical climates Deer are relatively shy animals which may give the impression that there are fewer around than there actually are. They are alert to danger and will respond quickly, usually by running away and or seeking cover but sometimes lying upon the running into wide open areas where they can access threats. There can be easy to stress but recover quickly when the threat is removed. One common response to persistent disturbance is for deer to change their behavior, example by avoiding busy times, places, or becoming nocturnal. This plasticity of behavior must be taken into account when planning their punishment. So, when you're feeding the deer, deer have evolved 
as prey animals and prefer to spend their time in cover or where they feel secure, which um, they have a large rumen. They can ingest large quantities of bulky plants food that return to safe areas to lie down and ruminate. For most species, this means that when undisturbed, they tend to have a coach on a two to four hourly cycle. Although they often majority of movement will be at dawn and dusk and sometimes at night. Their graze and browse that is taking ground level plants as well as food from higher shrubby plants and trees. Each species has its own preferences which may vary according to habitat. The members of the deer family are cloven hoofed ungulates that typically have compact torsos with long slender legs and small tails and most males have antlers the family is quite large and includes caribou elk moose montax and wapiti deer um, are regularly made on morning walks with quickly learned to spot humans who don't bother them and those who give them bad time they first recognize you at a distance when they see you then verify your smell as you get closer while listening all the time deer do not make nests or dens they find a safe and comfortable places to rest under low hanging evergreen branches they stay close where they can find food in summer they eat grass plants and weeds so the scientific name for deer is cervidae is the scientific name it derives from the latin word servus which simply means stags or deer the cervidae family belongs to the order of an archaeodactyla which represent all even toed ingulates or hoof animals with a certain kind of foot male deer in the wild live an average of about three years while female deer in the wild could live for up to six to five years this is why deer hunters consider in a trophy when they capture a deer that is older than three years of age